Hello guys and welcome to episode 13 of my Medieval 2 Total War campaign playing as England on very hard difficulty. Today we are starting with the Assault on Reims. We have got our equipment ready I believe so we may as well get Hail on with it. As you will, and we king, are also doing this battle. because France is currently excommunicated and we have not received a mission from the Pope yet to stop attacking them. So best we take advantage of that while we can. Let's assault them. 1,643 versus 1,034. They have four full units. Three town militia, one spear militia. They do have upgraded armor on these guys, which is going to make their melee defense or total defense quite high. General's not very good though. Let's fight this on the battle map. Honor and glory await England men. At He who defends everything defends nothing. That is a very true statement that I am having to apply in my Warhammer campaign at the moment. But let's focus on this. We'll start the deployment. We will not have Billman on the ladders. I think that's a bad idea. We're probably best off just using Spearman. Okay, that's that done. We can have three ladders on this left wall, one on the right. Oh, some crossbowmen have them as well. Let's not do that. And okay, there we go, there's another unit. That's nice. We're going to hope we can actually get to the gate here. Crossbows can just sit back, so can all our cav. We do have these extra few units, but they can wait until the equipment's at the walls. First things first, the battering ram. Can I actually run with these? Ram I can't, definitely. Can I run with ladders? Thinking about it. I think I can. Oh, that's awesome. I actually have never done that before. Okay. I don't know why I haven't been doing that sooner, but that's really very useful. I don't think... I was going to say their archers were using flaming ammunition, but... It certainly did then, and that is not good. I need this ram to reach the wall, <laughs> please. This will help us so damn much. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. If we can get it there, get the gate broken down. That will put us in a really nice position to sort of rush through. Wait, what? They're coming out of the gates? We're under attack. Well, time for my Bellman to attack then. God oh, damn it. <laughs> Why am I using flaming ammunition? So silly. I have no idea why they've kind of sallied forth a little there. That seems silly, but... I guess it stops me breaking down the gates. And then it's not so daft after all. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, oh, victory will be ours. Charge, charge. There's a charge in here now. Smash into these spear militia. Try and do as much damage as possible. I do need to stop these guys from firing a will though. How oh, have those guys already routed? No way. That is not good. 
These guys are taking their sweet time to get up as well. This is bad. Right, on this side we're okay-ish. He says. Out the front, this is just really bad. We don't really want to be fighting in front of this gate. It's doing so much damage. I'm just hoping by moving these guys over here that we actually just get our men up these ladders and then we can give them an attack order to attack these peasants, which somehow managed to rout all of my spear militia. There we go. I do need to attack these peasant archers. Something I definitely need to do. If I can, then I should. And these guys may as well get behind the gate, actually. Killed one of the peasant archers there. Let's go kill some more, please. Wait, why are we rushing up onto the walls there? Uh, to attack the town militia, I guess. Well, have they. Oh, they're broken. 83 men. What? What is going on? I'm going to have to get my general up here, but I feel like it's just going to get shot in the face by these towers. Because this is kind of silly. We've lost a lot of men already. guys aren't really doing what I'm telling them to either, which isn't good. Our men are winning the battle. Let's get the crossbowmen in continue like this, we will and the longbowmen. Right, can we get inside please? And if those guys can get inside, so can our generals. Oh, and that my horses. Them inside as well. Or my knights. Right, and with that, we'll attack up onto these walls. And hope that my men don't run away this time. Because it is really dumb when they do so. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. It says we're winning, but... I don't know. These towers have done so much damage this game. It's actually ridiculous. I guess what we can do maybe is turn these guys around and shoot up at the uh, town militia on the walls here. Let's do that. They're not actually going to fire until they get up on the walls, are they? Oh, we do have friendlies on the walls now. Oh, but they're broken and fighting to the death. Okay, so they should die actually pretty quick. Which is fine. We've also broken the peasants on the walls there. So now I am left wondering why the hell these towers are still firing. 
Okay, cool. They've stopped. <laughs> Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Right, time to shoot up these town militia. And we need to stop these guys from skirmishing. Okay. Shoot those town militia to death, please. I'm going to have these guys stand at the door here, ready to intercept them if they come down. A lot of damage being done. Hopefully they're out. Run down those town militia. How many other units have we got to kill? There's quite a lot of them in the square still. I guess if we make a couple of shield walls, we could just have crossbowmen behind doing the damage. What do you know? My men run away. Okay, well, time to change the targets then. I'm going to have uh, the longbows go around this way. And the crossbows can go around the other way. I think this road's kind of crappy, so I'm going to go all the way around, I think. And we're going to have a couple go this way. The spearmen. And we'll have a few units go this way. Okay, great. My lord, only half our force remains. Well, that's not the best sound, but I don't think we need that many to survive this in order to win. If I'm honest. I mean, we could survive with like 10 people and still win, but um, what I mean is we don't need a lot of men to hold this settlement after we've taken it because the other settlement, the French own nearby, is already under siege. It's not like we're going to get counter-attacked. Okay. Well, the men that all came over here can come and move down here. But if they're going to start to run back, we may as well just charge at them again. Okay, never mind. Leader, that okay, this is fine. Just kill these male knights, please. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Don't want them running into us anymore. Fortunately, crossbowmen are actually decent in melee combat. That's worked out quite nicely. Right, let's have them line up like so, so we can shoot on the square. And we'll have our spear militia 
try and line up in front of them. And just sort of be their defense. We've got loads of ammo, so we should just be able to do our thing. Might move this general out of the way. Although he doesn't seem to be getting hit at the moment. Might still be worth doing. Doing a nice amount of damage to those militia there. They have lost Ooh, that's not good. A general has engaged my crossbowman. I've got my general coming round, so maybe we can do things that way. But I do want to make sure that my my men here. Oh, God damn it! Don't get run down like that. <sighs> it's so dumb. That was all because of the skirmish mechanic. Okay, now it's general versus general. You need to move out. Now we just gotta hope that our men get the job done sooner. Yeah. It was just so dumb. I mean, at least in the centre here, the, these longbowmen are doing quite a lot of work, which is good. I do want to kill off these mailed knights, though. How's my general doing? I mean, let's just get him involved in the melee, because I can't shoot at them. Uh, for some reason, their horses are better than mine. Makes no sense. Get my general out of there. Okay. Try and get over here with my mailed knights. The fact that they can just run that down my men like that is just so dumb. Especially when I can't seem to do the same to them. Maybe it's just because I'm giving shitty orders to my men. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I'm going to pull these crossbowmen back now. And we are going to shoot these horses right in the back. Since we now have line of sight to do so. Literally cannot miss from there. You need to move out. Good tidings. The there enemy we go. general lies dead. We've sent the base curtain. To... <sighs> wow. This has probably been a billion times harder than it should have been. But that is okay. Not mad at all. <laughs> I'm 
get these guys inside if I can. Although I don't think we control this gate, so... <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. My longbowmen seem to be doing a good job, but they've almost used up all of their ammunition, so let's speed it up. Uh, let's please now get inside. Thank you. And now we can set up how we wanted to without being engaged by their general unit. Playing that. It's the lot. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, go away. <laughs> Stop using those towers against me. Time to fire away. Well, the Longbone have actually run out of ammunition. So we're kind of just reliant solely on these crossbowmen now. Since the rest of my men are running away, I might just have to use the longbowmen. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just shoot these town militia while we're engaging them. I'm gonna fall back for now. Just allow the crossbowmen to do a bit more damage. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and okay. steadfast, victory will go. be ours. Job done. My lord! Our men are in command of the city! That was one hell of a Pyrrhic victory. Victory is ours! Let it be a salve upon our wounds. Oh dear. That could have gone better. The oh. fact that they came, kind of came out the gates and stopped the ram was the first annoying thing. Glory! Honor, victory. Uh, that's job done anyway. Victory, my liege. We will occupy them. Conquest. And no glory. we've been awarded with four units of male knights. That's good. Up in London. Oh wait, what's this? I will only address you in battle. Wait, why is there a massive rebel army there? In battle. That's Hail no good. King. Who could we send? This guy's Hail already moved. I guess it will have to be Henry. Hail my king. Might be sad to take him out of Paris, but we kind of have to. Hail my king. Taking the troops ashore, what we can do is we give him the mailed knights. Maybe Hail a couple extra king. dudes. Like maybe these town militia. And then Hail my king. Yeah, he can pick those up and go and attack that army. Our relationship with the Papal State's now poor. They are still excommunicated, aren't they? Oh no, they're not. Okay. No, it says if they're excommunicated normally, like that. So, Sicily is still excommunicated, but France is not. But, his Holiness believes the flames of eternal damnation are too good for France, which is uh, Hail my king. <laughs> quite something, I guess. Hail my king. We'll retrain these guys while we're here, and I should probably retrain these guys in this town, but I can't because I don't have enough men. My dad, Angers. We could move out these men. Not sure if I want to, though. Yes, Your Highness. God's servant. 
Get 9,000 in the next turn. Let's go. Crusade's moving on its own. That's fine. Wait, what happened there? Why is the unrest so bad suddenly? That's not good. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. Why? Okay. The enemy lays siege, sire. We We're must attack prevail. By the Holy Roman Empire now. There is no glory in hiding like that this. That is not lord. good. We've got to cease hostilities with France anyway, so that king. may be a godsend. This army, we're going to give some more Crusader Sergeants, I think. Anything other that we can pick up? Maybe we should just get more mercenary crossbowmen instead of pilgrims. Can we, like, disband these? We can. Fine. Hail my king! We shall continue on our way. Well, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to, like, come down to... Yes, like my here, age. and then we we'll jump on a boat because we can hire mercenary gallery galleys, and those might be what I need. And the town reports good though. The only issue I have with those mercenary galleys, since we're at war with Egypt, um, they might attack my navy when I try and cross, which could be a very bad thing. Hmm. Come and face the might of the Reich. Hail my king. Hail my king. Well, since we need to cease hostilities, I think With we honor, lift the siege sire. here. Lifting the siege, sire. Oh. We've been ambushed. Well, we took no losses. <laughs> An honorable and they rejected the ransom. Victory. Hail my king. Well, we can definitely yes, back up and attack onto this army. Words with Hail my king. I don't know why Paris... Why do they hate me so much? What's going on here? Is it because of the upgrade that needs to happen? It might be because of that. Hail my king. But yes. I guess... My lord. I'm probably going to have to king. leave As you a wish. bunch of dudes here. Hail my king. Why is this Leaving so unhappy? The rest of the force, sire. Yes, your highness. Sire. Yes. I'd have to have every single unit in there. Hail my king. Be gone. You are not my kaiser. This is a disgusting army to fight against as well. Loads of peasant crossbowmen. Actually, it's mostly archers. They only have one, two, three units of infantry. It is in both our interests to trade. But... Hail my king! That might not matter, because we've got a lot of archers ourselves. One thing I might be able to do is if I take these forces oh, and back up Reims this turn we can there is no glory then move the like army this, out of Reims to Paris and Hail put my king. Ralph into Reims that's what I'm thinking Hail my king. anyway time With for honor, Henry to pick up Hail these guys we're going to head off north by your be gone you are not my okay. liege. We need to break this siege Hail as well. My king. So we'll just head back to Bordeaux and I'll go kill this rebel army, I think. As you command, my liege. Very well, my liege. God's servant. Hail my king. But yeah, we need to do Hail this attack. My king. I might give the rest of the cash actually to the Pope, but before I do that, let me just max out on town militia in London and Paris. Gonna have 10,000 in the next turn. 
So I think we can afford to give the Papal so states a couple thousand. Do this. Of course. And that Goodbye. is fine. It has been a pleasure. That should have increased our Papal standing a little bit. Good. Okay, but that's where I'm going to leave it. Unfortunately, it has been my time. My In the next king. episode, what we're going to do is take on this Imperial Army. Hopefully defeat them. And by doing so, leave Mets open to attack, which we can then go and take ourselves. But their armies are looking pretty scary. They have armoured the sergeants, enemy. they have mailed knights and so on. And I don't think my forts and stuff are high enough level really to recruit anything nice as of yet. Once Anger's upgrades to a fortress, we might be able to get some decent stuff because we can get then the upgrade of the practice range and the drill square and so on. Like if we go into the building browser, we will get the barracks, which will get us armored swordsmen, which will be nice. And then we can get uh, also yeoman archers, which is good as well. That is perfect. Also, the stables will give us feudal knights. So, yeah. Perfect. But that is all for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.